Well, welcome to Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. Many of you are probably quite aware of the uh, story, a uh, very famous story in American history called The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Well, it was written right here by none other than Mr. Washington Irving. This is an amazing place, and not only in American history, but also in my own life. Here I am. It's a beautiful fall day, and uh, one of my favorite features is creeks in the fall through the mountains. I'm actually located here in um, in the shadow of the Sleepy Hollow Cemetery. It's just right up here on this ridge back here. It's where Washington Irving, author of uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, uh, is buried. For many, many years, after I had left Florida and I began to hike and, and do more activities in areas that have to fall, I began to feel a sort of melancholy, the vision of these leaves on the ground tugged at me like, like I belonged there or of a, of a time long gone, a place that I, that I belong to. And so year after year, the, the feeling intensified and I, I did some meditation work slowly images began to emerge in my mind. And what emerged was a day in the first grade in Jacksonville, Florida. I was going to Fort Caroline Elementary School back then and Mrs. Hester was my teacher. We had done a writing assignment that morning on that crazy lined paper that first graders use. And we had written about Halloween. As a Florida boy, I knew nothing of such beautiful colored leaves and pumpkins but I could envision them in my mind, and I drew a picture on that page that day. Later that afternoon, Mrs. Hester gathered all of us around to listen to a storybook record that she played while turning the pages of The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. This day emerged finally from the melancholy of my feelings here in the fall, and so I began to research the record itself and one day I came across a 1971 Disney uh, digital print of that record. And when I, be when I began to play it, the voice that came on just caused me to melt and turn to tears. Now the question still remains, why did I have such an affinity for that particular moment in time? That's part of my mission here at this place. So I have returned here return to a piece of me, to connect to something that is meaningful and gives me purpose. And what's not the love about a beautiful place like this?